Hi, Sherry Trudler with Red Apple Auctions. And I thought it might be useful if I were to share some of my recent auctions and what the various restrictions around COVID vaccination were. I know that last summer I started to have a lot of clients who were asking about that. What are other people doing? How should we position this? What are the rules? And so maybe this will help you. Now, obviously, depending on the state that you're in and the crowd that you have, are going to dictate a lot of what you decide to do. You might be in a very open state, but if your crowd is such that they're more concerned, you may choose to do something different than what someone else would do. In the case of uh, the nonprofit sector, I'm doing a lot of school auctions this spring, but I have worked, I'm getting ready to work my third association event. And it's been interesting to me that the association attendance has generally been down for their conferences. In one case, the first event that I worked for an association this, this spring, it was, it was almost humorous because they were handing out something like 14, 12, 14 different awards, but only a couple of the people were there to accept them because their companies had not allowed the employee to travel to the conference. They were just saying, no, we're not traveling yet. Sorry, not going to happen. And the event that I'm attending tomorrow usually has 400 to 450, sometimes even 600 people that attend it. Nope, at the gala, 275. So it's much more restrictive. Now, I have not seen that, interestingly, at the school auctions. They are selling out. People are excited to be back together. But those folks, again, those kids are playing together. They're getting a lot of information from the schools. So there's just a different vibe there than what you're going to see at an association type of an event. And as we get further into the year, I don't know what's going to happen with our nonprofit events. Generally, I'd like to think that they're going to be just as positive as what we've seen with the schools. But who knows? Who knows? So starting with last December, one, it was a school auction that I was working. The school had been working with a company called CrowdPass that does vaccine verification. And so the auction committee was allowed to work with this company. They extended the contract, if you will, to the auction committee. And so that they had all of the guests and vendors upload their vaccination status, which was required, vaccine was required, into the CrowdPass system. And then once I did that, I was emailed a QRS code that I could use to get into the register through the registration desk. So once I entered that night or any guests entered that night, they had this special QRS code that said, whoop, yep, you're ready to go, go on in. That's how they managed it. Now, an event that I worked, um, well, a couple of events, the two most recent events that I worked, had no standards whatsoever. Now, one of those was in Texas, a pretty open state. The other one was here in Virginia, but we've opened it up as far as um, like venues go. And so none of the guests wore, did I see any, I didn't see anybody wearing masks. None of the guests were wearing masks, but in both locations, both in Texas and in Virginia, the staff at the resorts were required to wear masks. So there you have it. Now, an event that I'm getting ready to work on Friday has a different, more stringent system. They are requiring vaccine and they are requiring a negative, P what's it called? A PRS test, PRI? I can't remember what the rapid test is called. They're requiring a rapid test that comes back negative. So they are opening up a their testing site, which they have been testing their students and staff and everything twice a week anyway. So now parents can go through this testing site, as well as vendors. And that's happening from 3.30 to 6 p.m. on Wednesday with the anticipation that you'll get your negative result back Friday. Now, if you do not get the, uh, if you do not do, choose to do an, uh, the test, the rapid test, then you need to wear a mask that night. So vaccine plus mask. That's by far the most stringent. Both vaccine and a negative test or wear a mask. We've got other events that are coming up this spring. I'm sure everybody, I'll see other examples as well, but that's where it stands right now. If you're looking for other fundraising information, I encourage you to head over to redappleauctions.com. I just finished up our three part series for the auction procurement masterclass. So if procurement is something that's always been a thorn in your side, or you're just looking for fresh ideas, you can get my approach in that course 
uh, right now. There's some bonuses. I'm still uh, adding up to that course, but for the most part, the real guts of the content are already there and can help you out right away. If you're watching this on YouTube, feel free to subscribe. You'll be alerted to my new videos when you hit the bell. And as always, best of luck to you in your fundraising gala.